Hello everyone, this is Ramses, and I'm gonna play a little solo play of WrestleFest Royal Rumble. If you haven't already seen it yet, be sure to check out where me and Vesper played the uh, WrestleFest uh, Saturday Night's Main Event mode of play. But right now I'm gonna show you some Royal Rumble gameplay. It can be played with multiple players or a single player, just like the regular mode, and it's a very quick mode. It's pretty much pick any of the selectable wrestlers and you have at it. Last man standing wins the whole thing. Alright, so let's see, I'll select Royal Rumble mode. And, uh, I think I'll go with, mm, yeah, Sergeant Slaughter, just to be a little different, why not? I haven't used him in a long time, he's fun. He was big in uh, WrestleMania 7, if you remember, he was the highlight match against Hogan, so that's why he's probably in this game. Alright, so first I start off with Jake, I'll throw him, nope, didn't quite make it. I'm trying to throw him over, oh, okay, that works, I'll just body slam him over. Alright, let's see. You gotta wait for an opening. So the Legion of Doom, of course, are in this, but you can't select them unless you uh, use cheats or some other options with MAME, but they are actually in the Royal Rumble as extra wrestlers that you have to defeat. So that adds a little more variety to things. All right, let's throw Hawk. Nope. All right, see, you just have to weaken them down, wait for your opening. It's pretty much uh, a lot of mayhem going on. You see wrestlers are all fighting each other. It's only one on one at a time though, so you gotta wait for someone to be available. Push pin by accident. Yep, it's very hectic, but you can see it's a lot of fun. It's really just have at it, go after every wrestler, you're trying to beat them all. And in this Royal Rumble, you can actually pin or throw them out. So in the real Royal Rumble, it takes place in the WWE, it's uh, throw them over the ropes and they're out. But in this one, they allow pinning too, and I think that's fair. Makes it a little more interesting that way. And uses the game mechanics uh, properly for that as well. Let's see. Okay, Hawk's got me. Nope, he didn't throw me over though. Alright. Alright, I'll go after Warrior. Nope, now it's DiBiase. See, it switches fast too. You may think you have someone, but then someone else moves in their path, and that's suddenly who you're now dealing with. So that's another fun aspect here. Alright, the Noogie, our favorite. Alright, let's go for a pin. He's laying diagonal, that means he's weakened. And. Nope, not yet. Alright. So here we go. Get up. Alright, let's try and get DBS out of here. Nope. So Slaughter's move in the finish is a dropped elbow, which he did. Let's see if that's enough to finish him off. Alright, good. His finishing move is actually Cobra Clutch, but when they're laying there, you can drop some elbows when they're weakened. Alright, so now we got Warrior. Let's try to get him. If we can get him out, that'll clear the ring a little bit. Got him. Alright, good. Alright, so now it's uh, Hogan's coming in. You saw his picture. That's another cool aspect of the Royal Rumble mode. They have the uh, preview pictures showing uh, who's coming in next. Similar, see? So there's Animal there. He's next to come into the ring. Similar to the real Royal Rumble where it was like counting down and the next wrestler was about to come in. Here they just give you a little sneak peek of who's about to enter the ring just so you get an idea. Cool option. Alright, let's wait for an opening, see who we can get here. Alright, we'll go out to Animal, he's fresh to the ring. So, I like to body slam him, but it's hard to do. I, there's some people that are experts at that, where they can body slam him over the ropes. See, like me, I can't line him up right. I never know where to go, I never know where I'm standing wrong or right or whatever, so... Whatever, it's just fun anyway. But I do one day want to learn exactly how you're supposed to position yourself, so that you can do those easy body slams and toss people out with one uh, simple move, you know? Alright, nope, can't get Earthquake, cause, and that's another thing, you can help out other players. I don't know why you would, I guess if you want all the pins for yourself, it's a good idea to do that, but you can actually help other wrestlers who are about to be pinned by stomping on the guy uh, pinning them to remove you from trying to pin them. So that's another aspect here. And you can also double pin, so uh, you can actually double stack to make it even harder for the wrestler to get up. I decided I want to try to get the pin myself, so I let them up. Alright, and now I'm going to refill. There's two reasons why you want to put another quarter into the Royal Rumble. One's you're running out of health, obviously, but another is that timer, which runs out very quickly. If the time runs out, the mode ends too, which is a little unfair, but I understand it's an arcade game, they're trying to make money, that's fun. So if you want to refill the time or refill your uh, stamina, you have to put another quarter in, which is fine. This is just for fun, I'm not showing any pro play here, this is just 
to give an idea of what the Royal Rumble mode is like. Alright, let's see. Try to get smashed into something here. Throw on the ropes, I would love to toss him over. No, see, usually that happens too. You throw him and they stop just short of being uh, tossed out. Oh, see, that should have worked. But at least I got the finishing move. Let's see if it goes. Yes, so that's the Cobra Clutch. That's uh, Sergeant Slaughter's finishing move, and I got it. So either way, he was eliminated, so it worked out. Now, if Hogan was facing the other way, he would have just tossed me out. See, like this. See, the computer, they, they just randomly do their moves, but sometimes if they're standing in the right place at the right time, they get you, and you can lose just like that in the Royal Rumble move. Okay, so it looks like it's down to just the four of us now. Let's see what happens. Alright, so Hogan's diagonal. Animal's going for the pin. Let's see if I can... Yep, double stack it. Maybe I'll get credit for that too. Good. So I get the pin also. So that's how it works with that. If two people are on and both get credit for the pin. Okay, okay let them fight it out a little bit. Like the real Royal Rumble, I'll watch as the action goes on and catch my breath here. Alright, let's see. Alright, Animal's diagonal. He's ready to go. Let's try it. One... Two, and a three. Yes, got him. So it's down to me and Smash. Let's see who gets it. Oh, he's down. Yep, he's diagonal. Let's give him a few flying elbows here. And all right, maybe that'll finish it. Yeah, that's it. So there you go. See, that's the fun of it. It's a short mode, and I feel I got 50 cents worth out of it, you know. But that's what a Royal Rumble's like. It is a lot better when you have three other friends, of course, joining you and you're all going after each other and it's crazy. It could be over just like that. But that's the Royal Rumble mode. Just wanted to give you guys a sample of what it's like because I did mention it in our previous video that there was a Royal Rumble mode and now, well, you get to see it. Alright, we'll have more. I'll do some more solo stuff, but of course me and the Vesper will have more gameplays on uh, Twitch, so be sure to check us out on Saturdays or on our Twitch channel, The Vesper. We uh, will do about an hour or two of gameplay. We like to do arcade co-op so we can both play together, but we're open to anything. Come by and say hello. You know, we do, we're starting a new channel. We're just having fun. Two friends who just like to play games. That's all it is. Nothing more than that. All right, I'm going to enter my name here. Thank you and hope you enjoyed this playthrough of a Royal Rumble match in WrestleFest.